Osprex Electronics, I got it. I found this at Blake's office. That's the phone he's been using to call his contacts, wasn't he? Well, they take 30. I could ask. Assuming you can do as you say, you'll give me half. Was this the hospital meeting? Uh, yeah. Is it Walker's Dean? Yeah. I don't have a gambling problem, OK? We got an answer. I'll be in touch. We should invest this as soon as possible. I could help you find a van. There's five grand there, OK? Are you happy now? Still only 12. Dave, stop paying the rent on the house. Tell me what you know, or you'll be out. Lovely as ever. <laughs> Thank you. Well, I never refuse a dinner invite, although I imagine you have something else up your sleeve. Maybe. Let's eat first. We'll discuss business later. through for me with that Walker Steen information. I'm sorry I couldn't pay your contact what they were asking, but without knowing who they were, it was too much of a gamble. <clears throat> well, I'm glad you made a good return on your investment. Well, and Blake off limits. I have to use a less experienced broker. So I'll see an OK return on my money, but that's all it's going to be. OK. And for the risks I'm taking, OK isn't why I do this. My, uh... My law firm is currently handling the fallout from a drugs trial gone wrong. Bowervit, the pharmaceutical company, have got a report out next week that is going to destroy their current share price. I need someone I can trust. Who can trade under other identities and short it without drawing the attention of the FCA. Uh, uh you want to go short on it? <laughs> well, yeah. If I bet against them now, I can make a fortune when the shares drop. This is how Blake and I usually handle things. I think Blake would have used two clean accounts to avoid suspicion on a 50 grand investment. I assume you've got a system in place to do the same? 50 grand? The system? Well, of course I do. All right, the announcement won't be till next week, so you've got plenty of time to sort things out. I should double my money, so I'll pay you 10%. 10,000 at least, I'd imagine. 10,000? What do you say? <laughs> of course I can handle it. Um, quite a lot of cash into my um, my daughter's accounts. See, my dad, he, well, he passed away a few weeks ago, and he had this vintage E-Type just rusting away in a garage, and, well, an old friend of mine, he offered me 50,000 cash for it. <laughs> Nearly fell over when he asked. <laughs> yes. So, um, I need 25,000 of that into each of my daughter's accounts. H how long will that take to clear? Well, with such large amount, we do need to do some internal checks, but it should be on the system immediately. Great. <laughs> What are you doing here, Blake? You can't be seen anywhere near here. Hey, I've been trying to contact you for weeks. I've left you messages to call me back. Well, I'm not going to do that, am I? We're not supposed to be talking to each other. I need my burner phone. I left it in the office. What? It all happened so quickly. <sighs> OK, where is it?
<laughs> so, I sold my Walker Steen shares earlier and I made 7000 What? What about you? You sold yours? No, no, I didn't um, invest mine in the end. I had some bills I needed to pay off. Oh, right. I thought you were going to invest it. No, not this time. <laughs> oh, well, this will be me for now, I reckon. You know, it's great that it's worked so far, but I don't want to push my luck. I only just managed to talk my mum around on the whole coffee in a van thing, so <laughs> it'll be a bit of a downer if I suddenly got arrested for insider trading. <laughs> oh, we went and saw my brother again the other day. He's doing better, so that's made her happy. Babe. Babe! Mm. Who's that? Uh, what? Uh, nobody. You ain't met someone, have you? No, of course I haven't. Oh, I've just remembered it's uh, my turn to clean the loose. What phone? Ugh, I'm not playing games anymore. I know you took it from his office. I don't know what you mean. Blake's phone. I want it back now. Right, you know, now you mention it, yeah, I did find a phone. In fact, it had your name all over it. I think I'll keep hold of it for now, eh? Oh, you have no idea the trouble you are making for yourself. Oh, really? And where's my 15000 we had an agreement? Yeah, yeah, you're right, we did. But, um, unfortunately, I don't have the money. I mean, I did, but... what well, I spent it. Well, that was a mistake. There's not much you can do about it. has gone missing. A phone that is vital evidence in a case that I've been building for the past two years. Do you know anything about that? Nothing. Really? Because you seem unsure. Look, if you've been lying and I find out that you and that other cleaner have got the phone, then you could both be in a lot of trouble. I don't know anything. I think you do, which means you're currently obstructing a criminal investigation. Do you realise how serious that is? You're looking at four or five years in prison. Right, I'll call the police. No, don't. Well, tell me where the phone is and I won't have to. Well, I don't know where it is. Fine. OK, stop. Look, we found the phone in the office, but we didn't know it was important. Well, now you do and I need it back. OK, I'll talk to Sam. No, no, you can't talk to your friend. This is a highly confidential investigation. If you breathe a word of this to anyone, you will be compromising years of work. Do you understand? Oh, hey, babe. Where you been? Oh, I was just uh, taking some bins out. Is everything all right? Yeah, everything's fine. All right, I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> Hey, I know we said we should do dinner again soon. How's tomorrow night, Sam? Tomorrow night? Yeah, uh, I think I could make that work. W where were you thinking? My place. Your place? Yeah, I love to cook. It'll be fun. It's that sounds great. Oh, I'll text you the address. How does 7.30, Sam? I'll see you there. So, um, I'm looking for, like, a statement piece. Something smart, sophisticated, but with a hint of sass. Sass? Yeah, you know, like, a certain sassy. <laughs> well, what about something like this? I mean, this is exactly the type of thing I was looking for. Yeah? 
Right, that uh, particular dress costs 700 pounds. Um, we do have some cheaper items in the back that might be more in your price range. No, 700 pounds is absolutely fine, actually. In fact, I'll still have money left over for a bag and maybe a coat, Jim. Until the dawn. because I want to go to university. I just don't know why you'd want to humble yourself with all that debt. You'll spend years paying it off and it won't be nice having that hanging around your neck. I can assure you. If you work hard, you get to the top in whatever you want to do. When I was your age... Oh, God, I had... here we go. When you were a lad, I used to sleep in rolled-up newspaper <laughs> with a lump of stale bread for breakfast. Stale bread? Yeah, and that were only on special occasions. Anyway, I might like to be a sports therapist. I could always take a year out and, you know, save up. How much have I got in my savings? A few hundred, I think. Don't know, I'll have to check. Yeah, anyway, I think it's great. Alice wants to go to uni. Whatever it costs, I'll be paying for it. You will? Yeah. Why shouldn't my girls have the same opportunity as everyone else? Well, we do. Exactly, and now I'm cleaning toilets for a living. I won't be doing that for much longer, I can assure you. It's taken me 20 years to realise it, but you can be anything you want in this life. Just need to take your chances. For starters, you wouldn't even be here if I hadn't taken the chance on him. Oh, you took a chance on me, did you? I think you'll find it was the other way around. Whatever. Chase after me, couldn't get enough of it. Oh, gross. <laughs> OK, I don't need to hear about that. I'll think about it. So, got the deposit back from the landlady for this place yesterday. Oh, this year. I know you still think you're going to stay here, but dragging this out is only going to make things worse for the girls. I'm sorry, but I really think we need to talk about when the girls can come and move in. Well, the girls are happy here. And as long as I can afford it, why should they move? But you can't afford it. How would you know? Because I know how much debt you're in. Are you totally deluded? And what was all that about? Telling Alice you'll pay for it to go to uni? Well, I will. I don't even know what to say to that. Like, how? What planet are you actually on? You just wait and see. I'm really sorry, and I hate letting you down. But I can't do it. I have... A, a big deal I'm working on at the minute, and... Oh, I don't know what the hell I'm doing, basically. Princess, where's your mum? Whoa, it's all this. Thought you were just going out with some friends. I am. Well, what kind of friends are they? Well, like some kind of high powered businesswoman, like Theresa May or something. Theresa bloody May? 
that's not quite the look I was going for. I, I mean, by business, that sort of vibe. You, you look good, is what I'm trying to say. No, thank you. I don't know why it's such a surprise. I'd make a very good businesswoman, thank you very much. Come here, you. Oh, mm. Make sure she brushes her teeth. She's got a habit of saying she has when she hasn't. Yes, I know, yeah. Oh, oh um, Lily's going to her friend Jadine's house after school tomorrow. You'll need to pick up from there. Jadine? Isn't she the one who...? Oh, no, no. They're friends now. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, I'd better go. See you there. Oh. Hi. Actually, look, I'm really sorry. Something's come up. Hey. Hi. You okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Come on in. Actually, um, look, I'm sorry, I probably should have said this before, but... Oh, lovely, by the way. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Why don't you come in? OK. Can I, uh, take your coat? Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah. I'm cooking a bouillabaisse. You're all right with seafood, yeah? Uh, yeah. Yes, that's fine. I found this recipe online. I don't have a chinoise, though, so, uh, you're gonna have to accept my apologies if the sauce isn't smooth. Right, here we go. One for you. <gasps> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> so, um, do you have this place all to yourself? No kids? No, no kids. Sorry, I shouldn't have asked that, Dad. I didn't mean to. No, 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 that's OK. Listen, my, my ex-wife and I were really very keen to have them, but, um, well, things just didn't work out. Right. You? Uh, two boys. You're married? Uh, well, I, technically I am, but, um, no, we're not together. It's sad, really. You think that's how it's going to be forever, and then that's it. Yeah. So the, uh, the boys live with you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. At the moment they do. But, um, Dan wants them to go and live with him full time. He thinks I can't look after them properly. <laughs> really? Why not? Well, on sociable hours, you know. Not being there in the evenings. He doesn't understand the sacrifices people like you and I have to make for our careers. Exactly. Shit. The muscles haven't opened. Oh. Surely you can just press them open with the knife and fork. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to chuck them. I'm going to be completely honest with you. I've never cooked a bouillabaisse in my life. <laughs> Fish and chips? Good idea. <laughs> I'm buying. <laughs> Come on. Mm. I can't remember the last time I ate chips out of a bag like this. <laughs> That's how they're supposed to be eaten. <laughs> <laughs> you see... See, this is what I like about you, Nancy. Hmm? No pretension. You know, you just... You know exactly who you are. You don't care what anyone thinks. Well, that is very kind, but I care as much as the next person. No, no, no. Your modesty won't wash with me. <laughs> In fact, I'm surprised you're working as a sole trader, to be honest. Why's that? Oh. And someone with your capabilities... Should have had their own brokerage firm by now, surely. Well, I have thought about having my own company. I think I could clean up with the right clientele. How's everything with the accounts? All in place for the Bowbit announcement in a few days? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Everything's in place. Great. <laughs> Oh, yeah, you never had a banana and chocolate sandwich before. They're the best. 
Mum, can I have bananas and chocolate sandwich? I don't mind making her one. Not a chance. But Glyn's gonna have one. Well, I'm sure he is, but Willy Wonka here also eats Pop-Tarts for dinner. No, you need a healthy lunch. Yeah, bananas. They're full of fibre and potassium. That's good for the heart and reduces blood pressure. Oh, I think Lily's blood pressure is fine. <sighs> oh, OK, just for today, though. <laughs> oh, morning, darling. Oh, Mum, I was looking at when there's another Gamblers Anonymous meeting. There's one tonight at six. Um, I checked your rotor and you're not working. Can you so... get the door, darling, please? Please, you said. Uh, how are you? Yeah, good, good, thanks. Is your mum in? Hey, Basha, you, um, you didn't say you were coming around. <sighs> well, I know I should have warned you, but I was seeing a tenant down the road, so thought I'd swing by. Right, yeah. Is, it, is everything OK? Um, I spoke to Dave a few days ago about renewing your tenancy agreement, but he said you might not be able to stay. No, no, no. Um, he's moved out. I mean, we, uh, we separated. Yes, well, um, it's none of my business. But the original agreement was in Dave's name, so I need to draw up a new contract and get a deposit from you. A deposit, yeah. And um, uh, how much was that again? Fifteen hundred pounds. Fifteen hundred, okay. Right, yeah, no problem. Great. Um, I will need that ASAP. So can you have it ready by the end of the week? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. I'll have the new tenancy agreement drawn up then, and uh, yeah, I'll. I better be off. <laughs> <laughs> Great to see you. And you. Bye bye. Take care. Bye bye. We can't afford it, can you? Yeah, of course I can. Come on, get to school. I don't want you being late. Oh. OK. I give you time to think. What have you decided? I don't know anything. Sean from compliance will call police unless you tell me what Sam did. Call police about what? We didn't do anything. Why you protect some? Okay, I have a new job for you. A chef in the canteen lost her engagement ring. She thinks it fall into bin. I needed to find it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a dancer. What, like in pop songs? No, in musicals and stuff. Oh, really? That's so cool. Do you want to play a game or something? Yeah, OK. Sam? Oh, uh, yeah. Sorry, yeah, of course. Um, I couldn't help but overhear your landlady asking for a deposit earlier. Is everything OK? Yeah, yeah. Everything's fine. What are you up to, anyway? Oh, um, a road trip with Jess to see a van. What do you reckon? Hobnobs or, or Jaffa Cakes? Uh, I was thinking Hobnobs so we can dip them in our tea. Does Jess drink tea? Yeah, yeah. She drinks tea. Great. Um, well, maybe I'll take the Jaffa Cakes anyway, just in case. Jesus! Where is this van? Do you want a groat? 
Oh, it's just a, just a little picnic. I don't want Jess to get hungry. There's no danger of that. I think someone's got a little soft spot for a certain someone else. What? <laughs> no. It's exciting. Yeah. You're right. Oh, um, yeah, sorry, I just got a problem with a friend of mine. Oh, right, um, it's not, not Sam, is it? Why'd you ask that? Well, I just, I just get the impression that she's, um, having a few problems financially, I mean. Well, I, I guess you probably know her better than I do, so. Yeah, I guess so. So, uh, this van that we're seeing today is actually one of the first models that they made with, um, with soft springs, which is, which is exa exactly what you need to do to, um, to take your weight. Oh, thanks. Oh, no, sorry, I was... I didn't mean it like that. I meant the weight of your equipment, <laughs> your machines and stuff. Yeah, I know. I was just teasing you. <laughs> oh. All right. Oh. Have a crisp. <laughs> I don't need to go, OK? I'm doing this for you, remember? Oh, darling. There's all men in there. Well, there's no women in this group. Well, let's just go in and see what they have to say, OK? I see we have some new faces with us this evening. Welcome. I'm Carl, and, um... Well, what can I call you? Hi, I'm Alice, and this is my mum. Great. Hello, Alice. And is there another name I can...? My name's Sam. Really glad you could join us this evening, Sam. Now, don't feel you have to, but sometimes talking about what led us here today can help us relax. Yeah, well, I... I don't really know why I'm here just yet. Mum. What? I don't. Oh, no, that's OK. I remember my first time. Yeah. I didn't know why I was here either. Which, I guess that's what I thought we could talk about today. Acceptance. That was the hardest part for me. I was lying to myself before that. And I couldn't see the damage my lies were causing to my friends and my family. But once I stopped lying, well, that was the turning point. Warren, really glad to see you again. It's it's been a while since you. Yeah, I've uh, been busy. Okay, who wants to talk about how they came to accept who they were and stop lying to themselves? Hello. What watch? No, I can't imagine she's done something like that. Hang on. Lily, when you were playing at Jadine's house, you didn't pick up a watch by accident, did you? No. You sure? Yeah. No, she's not got it. We were reading Alice in Wonderland last time, weren't we? Do you remember where we got to? She was eating the mushrooms to get big again when Alice... When Alice meets a caterpillar. We were just playing a game. I forgot I had it in my pocket. Oh, why didn't you just say that earlier? We will have to give it back. You understand that, right? I'm sorry, just please don't tell Mum or Dad. There's no point doing this if you're not going to take it seriously. I am taking it seriously. Just don't need to be here. Who's up? Nobody. Uh, come on, let's go. Oh, you're leaving so soon? Haven't introduced me to your daughter. Hello, Alice. I'm Maureen. Hello. It's nice to finally meet you. And it's great what you're doing, by the way. Trying to help out your dear old mum. Come on, let's go. How'd you know him? Just an old friend I haven't seen for a while. What a complete waste of time. Oh, come on. I just didn't see how it was relevant to me, darling. 
How would you know? You weren't even listening. What do you think about what that guy said about deleting the apps? Sweetheart, this isn't something you should be worried about. Yes, it is. My mum having a gambling problem, of course I'm going to be worried. I don't have a gambling problem, OK? I'm fine. You should be thinking about what A-levels you're going to pick. Well, I can't afford to go to university anyway. Dad's right. There's no point getting myself into thousands of pounds of debt. Listen, don't worry about the money. I'll sort that. What are you talking about? I know you can't afford it, Mum. Well, don't be so sure. Hi, Jake. Hey, what's he doing here? Picking me up. We're going out. No, See you're ya. not. Not on that thing. You... Alice! I mean, I know people think all students do is get drunk and watch Countdown, but I just don't like the thought of one of my girls wanting to go to uni and not being able to, you know? Yeah, uni. Wouldn't mind a three-year holiday myself. <laughs> You know that phone I found? Where is it? Uh, I've got it safe at home. Why? Oh, you know, I just... I thought it might be fun to read. Oh, yeah, it's a right barrel of laughs. I can put it down. <laughs> what is it you want with it anyway? I thought you was done with all this. Oh, yeah, no, I am. I just... You know, I thought it might be good if we were both clued up on things. But I think I'll keep hold of it for the time being, yeah? Yeah. Oh, I, um, I gave Glyn the uh, plans for the, the design for the van the other day and he uh, left them in his room. Oh, OK. Well, you know where it is. How's it all going? Oh, good, thanks. He's a star. <laughs> I didn't see Janie's mum at school, so maybe you could give it to her later. Yeah, of course. So, Alice said you went to a Gamblers Anonymous meeting last night. Well, I went for Alice. Yeah, but... The fact that you went is pretty incredible. And I'm proud of you for doing something like that. I know it can't have been easy. I guess I never really supported you properly, did I? It was always your problem, not, not ours. Is that how I made you feel? Well, maybe I could have done more. And if I had, things would have turned out different. But now... You seem to have turned a corner. Anyway, I better, I better go. I'll see you later. What are you doing? Oh, uh, I was, I was just, I just uh, wondered if I could borrow it. Just what are you really doing with that phone? <laughs> Shit. Okay. You know, Francis from Compliance. Well, this phone is really important evidence in the case she's building. She knows we've got it, but if we give it back, we won't get into trouble. No. You can't give her this phone. Why not? But just, okay, please don't freak out. But. I... Francis was at that meeting with Graham and Swanee. What? She's working with them. She helps them out, makes sure the FCA never find out what they're up to. And she wants this phone because it's a threat to her. So you lied to me? No, well, yeah, I did. Jess, wait a minute. Good sake, Jess! OK, look, I did lie, but I, I did it to protect you. No, you did it to protect yourself, more like. You knew I would have put a stop to all this. You no, know, you're just selfish. You don't care what anyone else thinks. What? That yeah, you'll say anything to get what you want. Oh, well, I didn't hear you complaining when I handed over your bloody money. You know, I didn't ask for any of this shit. You know, this was all your idea. You didn't take that much persuading, Jess. Yeah, well, I did it for a reason. But you, you just seem to love being a criminal. I can see you getting all excited by it. <sighs> well, I didn't realise you were so appalled by the whole thing. If it's all so terrible, you won't want any of the filthy money that we've made so far, eh? That van you've got, you should probably take it back. No, I didn't think so. Look, you are just as involved in all this as I am. But you like to pretend you're sweet and innocent. 
Yeah, I should have told you about Francis, but I didn't because you're my friend and I knew you'd panic. But I am not going to apologise for what we're doing. And neither should you. Those bankers sure as hell don't. Did anyone come out and say sorry when the whole economy went tits up? No. We are where we are because they put us there. There's one rule for them and another rule for everyone else. Well, not anymore. Yeah, you're damn right. I am selfish when it comes to me and my girls. And that's how it's going to be from now on. So you can call it quits or say it's wrong and immoral, but the real reason is that you're too scared to stand up for yourself and start fighting back. Listen, about the report, there's been a change of plan and they're going to make the announcement about bow tomorrow. What? Yeah, I hope that's OK. Uh, uh, no, yeah, no, of course, that's absolutely fine. Great. Talk to you soon. I just checked work route and you gave me six hours next week. Next week, six week after could be less. No, I need more hours. I understand why you're trying to help them, but I'm not going to get Sam in trouble with police. It is your past that opened the research department door and it is you running away on CCTV. If you don't say what Sam did, you're the one who will be fired and you're the one who will go to prison. I'm not taking the heat for this. Wait. I'm going to give you 500 pounds to cover for us. 500? Yes. OK. But I want to know the truth. And then we'll talk to some. But first, you have to promise you will keep us out of trouble. Nina, why don't you tell Sam what you just told me? Uh, Sam. Uh paid me to set up the fire alarm, and wow. then she went and printed out some documents. What, what, what are you saying? He made me, but I made a deal with him, so he hasn't all compliance. As long as you leave right now. What? That's not what we agreed. That's not what he said, Sam. I agreed not to talk to compliance, but she must go. I want your pass, and I want you gone immediately. I'm fired. Yes. Fired from what? The zero hour contract you've got us on. Not sure that's even a thing, Victor. I'm sorry, Sam. I tried. Listen, look, come here. Don't worry, OK? I get it. You two go back up. I'll speak to you tomorrow. See you, girls. Have you got it? Your time's up. No. And we're not going to get it either. I know what's going on. And I'm not scared of you. Early. Kids are upstairs asleep, I think. Is that a bad day at the office? I got fired from the office. Oh. What did they fire you for? Nothing. I was just doing my job and they fired me. Fired for nothing? I'm sure you could challenge that as unfair dismissal. Do you know anyone who set up their own company? Um, no. Don't think so. It's a good idea, though. A cleaning company, you mean? Mm. <laughs> Look, I, I know I asked you about this already, um, but I was thinking that I could possibly lend you that deposit 
But, um, um, just in case you don't have the cash right now, here it is. Oh, Glenn. I, I really like staying here with you and the girls, and it just, just be such a shame if I had to leave. Well, thank you. I, I, I'm owed some money, so I'll pay you back as soon as I can. I promise. <laughs> <coughs> <laughs> I'll give this to Barsha tomorrow. Hi, Mum. When you at work? Uh, I've taken some holidays, so I've got a few days off. Does that mean we can do something fun after school? Yeah, maybe. But I need to talk to you about something first. What? <sighs> Your dad said you took this from Jadine's house, that you were playing a game. Is that true? Yeah. Is it really? Come on, look, you won't get in trouble if you just tell me the truth. I don't want to move out of this house, Mum. I thought if I sold the watch, then I'll give you the money. I'm sorry. Oh. Did I go, darling? No, I think we should definitely keep this between ourselves. I'm sure it'll show up. We can't take that chance. Someone might be onto us. We're all at risk here. Fine, I'll be in touch. Where the hell's all this money come from? There's over 25,000 in each. What have you done, Sam? Um, uh, well, I, I won it. I won it gambling. <sighs> you told me you'd stop gambling. Dave, just don't touch that money, OK? I need you to leave that exactly where it is, please. Too late. I've took it. No. And I'm going to do what you should have done already and clear off the debt you got us in. No, Dave, I'm... <sighs> Shit! <sighs>
your memories. If you've been affected by the issues in tonight's drama, go to itv.com forward slash advice for details of organisations offering support.